companies use Zen uh, because it's um, much more efficient to take this existing open source project and tweak it to the way that you need it um, to, for your particular use case than it is to write the whole thing from scratch. Citrix contributes about 25% of the code for the overall Zen project. Um, but what that effectively means is they hire like 25 engineers and they get 100 engineers with a de development uh, out of that. And these are engineers from Zusa, from Oracle, from Intel, from AMD, from, from all over the world. Um, so it really gives them, um, it's like a force multiplier to allow them to uh, be much more effective at uh, the product. Joining the Zen project gives you the influence to make sure that your needs and your desires um, and your use cases are considered as the project develops and as it, as it goes. Zen is one of the first hypervisors that has really good solid ARM support. Um, there's, uh, the ARM virtualization extensions are actually, the way they're designed are a much better fit technologically with the, the Zen um, kind of way of doing things than, than with a lot of our competing technologies. But also, uh, Zen is designed to be very small and, and very lightweight. The pair of virtualization that, that Zen has makes it much simpler to actually uh, virtualize. Um, and so, particularly for embedded systems, which where ARM is really strong, um, then uh, Zen is, is a really an obvious choice. Zen was really instrumental in the, the rise of the public cloud. It was um, designed for something like the public cloud before we even had the idea of the cloud. Um, so uh, the availability of Zen made it possible for Amazon to make their, their very first public cloud um, and made it possible for other clouds to, to, to join in. Um, and Zen really is, I think, the in terms of it was designed from the ground up for it to be something very, that could be very secure um, and very lightweight and fast. Um, and I think those are still the advantages that it has. And so um, that's why I think Zen is going to be the most important going forward for the public cloud. Virtualization is expanding out of sort of the server space into uh, you know mobile, embedded, automotive, um, network function virtualization, like for for networks and stuff like that. Um, and in these cases, I mean, you need the same things. You need strong isolation, security, which Zen gives you. You need um, a lot of particular things like um, uh, mobile or embedded. You need uh, something that's really small, really lightweight, um, which Zen gives you. Um, and you need things that are really you know, high performance, uh, particularly for things like you know, NFE or, or something like that. Um, these are all things where Zen has just a lot of strengths. The number of emails on the developer mailing list has doubled over the last year. That's really a sign of a, of a, of a healthy, you know, growing community. Um, and we've got 20 new uh, companies that have contributed to the project for the first time uh, in 2014. Um, and uh, we've had, I mean, the number of commits actually per month has gone up about 30% this year versus last year. So it's really growing quite a bit.